This is kind of a different reel that I'm used to fishing, guys. Obviously, this is some of the best Florida bass fishing. Oh, that one, guys. That's a wall. Oh. <laughs> this one's huge. Look at how good this is. Oh. product from yes cast king it's been years and years since i've fished with a spin caster so it's gonna be really fun and interesting just want to do a quick unboxing for you guys to show you what it comes with wow this is what it looks like guys this spin caster is extremely heavy that's like the first thing i noticed about it get a better look at it here it's a super super heavy spin caster for what it is it's made of metal so it's a lot more high quality than you know your typical plastic Zebco. It's called the Brutus 30. It comes with 10 pound test built on there already, so you're ready to go. It's got six bearings and a four something ratio. It's a lot faster reel and it has a lot better smoothness and bearings as opposed to a lot of other um, spin casters. So it's actually a really high quality spin caster. Also, you can untwist this and switch your handle to the left side if you wanted to as well. That's, that's another feature that most spin casters do not have. This is pretty awesome, guys. If you get a uh, Cast King Brutus, then it actually comes with a whole thing of braid for free as long as you uh, leave a review. So that's awesome. You get a whole spool of braid for free just for getting the reel. I'm going to go ahead and put the Brutus on there and test it out. It's going to be a real challenge. We've only got 10 pound test. I'm going to use the line that came on it. And we're going to see how big of a bass we can catch with it today. It's going to be a major throwback because I haven't fished like this in a long time. So it'll be a bit of a challenge, but it'll be interesting. So stay tuned, guys. All right, you guys, here is the beautiful lake. This lake is kind of a bowl shape, so it's really not got a lot of canals or anything. Docks should hold some fish. All right. All right, guys, this is a top secret private lake. I've fished this lake a few times before. It is some of the best Florida bass fishing I have seen in my life being here. So that says something and we are about to go take it down with a little bitty spin caster and 10 pound mono. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this goes. <laughs> Guys, so coolest part about this, I'm gonna be using the Casking Speed Demon Jig and Worm Rod which is going to give me that little extra backbone, an actual bass rod, not spin caster rod. But I'm gonna put the spin caster right here. And as you can see, fits on there pretty great. So it's actually gonna end up being a pretty dang good setup. And this spin caster is serious stuff. It's full metal. You can switch the handle to the left side if you needed to, but I'm a right-handed on baitcaster, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never tried this with a nice bass rod before, so hopefully, hopefully we did good. Only got 10 pound test though, so if we don't break off. All right, let's get on out right here. 10 pound test though, guys. So we gotta really, really work them out of there. This is a big fish. It skips beautifully because you don't have to deal with the backlash. Is that a fish? Oh, got one, guys. Dang. Drag is way too loose. Got him out of there though. Sick. Thought he was way bigger. What? On the spin caster. That's crazy. Nice little one pounder or so. Slammed it on the come down. Little speed worm. That's awesome. Get a quick release on this fish. 
and hopefully we can get some more. Little guy. See if we can get a couple more over here on the same dock. We got it again, got it again. Oh. He's got it. What is that? A catfish? Are you kidding me? I snag hooked him too. A freaking catfish? These are the worst. Freshwater catfish, guys, are the worst fish to get stung by of all time. I'm just letting you know ahead of time so you don't let that happen to you. I'm not actually sure what species this is. I've never caught catfish in here, of all things. Look at that. Yay, the freaking speed worm. Just a really weird catch. Um, leave me a comment in this section to s tell me what this catfish is. I know it's either a white catfish or a bullhead or something like that, so just let me know. Alright, I'm gonna throw him back. Oof, so bad he didn't spine me. Look at that sunset, it's beautiful. I'm gonna try to catch a couple more before. It's too dark. I got one, got one, got one. Oh, that felt like a little one. Let's see if he gets it again. Dang, it's pretty deep in there. Got one. Oh my gosh, that's a big fit. That's not as big as I thought. Oh, he's stuck in the grass. Only got 10 pound test. Holy crap, he is kind of big. Dang, guys, look at that chunker. I really hope the camera was on for that. That guy ate the freaking speed worm on the fall. It's weird, at night, usually they like it on top. It's starting to get dark here. This guy looks like he's got a messed up fin. But yeah, it's a big one. It's like a two pounder, at least. Maybe there's some more in here. It's funny, like the first bite I had, I didn't think it would be such a big fish because it felt like a small bite. He's just biting the tail and then he missed it and dropped it down right in the middle and that guy crushed it. Y'all can see this perfectly. Hopefully, you can. Oh my gosh, no way. Something waked it as soon as I dropped it down there. Again. was a big in broke me off all right guys so i really hope you enjoyed that um didn't really catch any giants like i really wanted to because that would be really really fun especially on this little reel um that's the goal though and i've got plenty of spots around florida that i'm gonna take this thing to i will have a link in the description below if you want to purchase this reel remember it does come with free braid too so it's a pretty great deal um I also have a link in the description for this rod, which is my go-to bass rod. Whether or not you're using a spin caster, it works great with a bait caster, just the same, obviously. But this is the Jig and Worm 
seven foot three. But anyways, guys, I want to hear it from you in the comment section below. Let me know what I should do next with this thing. What other challenges I should do with it. Make sure to stay tuned though, because this is not the last challenge video I'm going to do with this thing. I'm going to take it all kinds of places. I want to hear it from you guys though. So comment below what I should fish for with the spin caster and what I should try and catch with it. Huge thanks to everyone for watching. I really appreciate all the support and the views, the likes, comments, everything, guys. It really means a whole lot to me. Anyways, guys, keep fishing, tight lines. Until next time, keep watching, keep subscribing. Appreciate you all, and stay tuned until next time, guys.